We've been in this home about 20 years, but we never gave any thought to what if. For Don Greeley and his wife, the what if happened a few months ago when Jones suffered a stroke, limiting her mobility. Suddenly, the two-story home in Arlington, Virginia, where they lived for the past 20 years, became difficult to navigate. The couple in their 70s was forced to make changes so that Joan could rehab at home, and they turned to universal design principles to make their home safer and more comfortable. So, Don, this is one of the areas where you had to make uh, a lot of changes. Yep. Uh, about the time that uh, Joan was ready to come home, we needed a new toilet. And this is, assists a handicapped person because they don't have to move as far to get to the seat. They also added features like grab bars, a seat for the tub, and a chairlift. But in many ways, it isn't enough. Thick rugs and narrow hallways and doors still give Joan problems, problems that could have been avoided had the couple known about universal design years ago. Universal design is sort of a broad movement that's happening, trying to find ways to make things work for all people. And as we age, and it's increasingly important. John Salmon is an architect specializing in universal design. After the children left, he and his wife, Anne, found this fixer-upper in Tacoma Park, Maryland, and turned it into a lovely home that's stylish, flexible, and safe for the grandkids, as well as the grandparents. My mom uses a walker, but she comes to our house and enjoys it tremendously. The features begin right at the doorway, where a no-step entry makes access easy for wheelchairs and my crew's heavy equipment. The elevator saved us from lugging it upstairs, and the wider open floor plan makes for easy maneuvering. The kitchen includes features like lower open cabinets and shelves for easy access and viewing, fixtures and doors with levers easy to use for small or debilitated hands, integrated handrails double as towel racks, and appliances and countertops were placed at different heights to accommodate different ages and abilities. No detail is left out. We visited a universal design spec house built by developers in Bristol, Virginia. Inside, the home is spacious and looks great right down to the outlets placed higher up on the wall to require less bending. These stairs are a perfect example of universal design and you wouldn't even know it. They're extra wide so that if someday you need to put in a chairlift, you can. It also has handles on both sides so if you're weak on one side or the other, you can still balance yourself. And finally, it has two-tone stairs so that if your eyesight decreases, you can still tell the difference from one stair to another. Advocates like Eleanor Ginsler of AARP are using the house trying to spread the word. And bathrooms are important. A lot of accidents happen in bathrooms. Absolutely. You need that bathroom to be safe and comfortable. You need enough space to move around in. You need the flooring to be non-skid so you don't fall. And a feature right here at the sink is the fact that there is an open space underneath that sink. If you need to wheel a walker or a wheelchair under there, you can do that. Sure. The last feature here, is, which is wonderful, this could be a place to store towels or it could be a bench for you to sit on and help you get into that tub. For Don and his wife, Joan, the battle continues, but with the help of Universal Design, they hope to remain in their home forever. I think a lot of people would prefer to spend where they've spent their lives uh, than having to go off to seek another venue. And uh, the only way they can do that is if to plan accordingly. Universal Design is meant to be exactly as it sounds, universal for everyone, but particularly for baby boomers who wish to age in place, you have to start thinking about creating a safer and more independent environment. And you can start small or go for large-scale renovations, but either way, it's important to start thinking universal.